This program is brought to you by Real Estimate, Australia's number one property value estimate. Get your real estimate today on realestate.com.au. Welcome back. Taking a look at this weekend's auctions around the country now, New South Wales will have 769 auctions with 640 of those in Sydney. Victoria, 227, with most of those scheduled across Melbourne. Queensland will hold 265 auctions, with South Australia and the ACT holding 92 and 64 auctions, respectively. Now, taking a look at some of the properties for auction, 22 Nelson Street in Annandale in New South Wales is a four-bedroom, three-bathroom home with two car spots. Sitting on a 420-square-metre block, it represents a reimagined warehouse with sandblasted brick walls. The home features an award-winning design, offering plenty of light as well as a courtyard. Nine Castle Close, Glen Waverley in Victoria is a three-bedroom, one-bathroom home. With a price guide of between $1.15 and $1.25 million, the home sits on an 832 square metre block and offers large living spaces perfect for a family home. It's got polished timber floors throughout, as well as being close to schools and public transport. 11A Webb Road, Sunshine Beach in Queensland is a magnificent five-bedroom, three-bathroom home with stunning coastal views. Located just metres from the beach, this double-storey home is perfect for large families. The property also features a large master suite and an in-ground pool. 22 Bickford Street in Richmond, South Australia is a smaller two-bedroom home on a 114-square-metre block. With a price guide of about half a million dollars, the home boasts heritage features throughout, including mantles and fireplaces. And lastly, 70 Anzac Park Campbell ACT is a semi-detached duplex with three bedrooms and two bathrooms. It's being marketed at a, as a renovator's delight in a blue chip location, with features including a timber staircase, open fireplace and parquetry timber floors. The home is also only a walk away from the War Memorial as well as parks, schools and Canberra's CBD. Three Oxford Crescent Bridgman Downs in Queensland is set on a large elevated flat level block. An in-ground swimming pool and large covered entertaining area features as the key highlights of this four-bedroom home with two lock-up garages. The brick home sits comfortably on a 740 land block and is freshly painted with new carpets. It's also within walking distance to acres of bushland, bike paths and walking trails, while also being moments away from local shops, daycares and public transport. And that was the most viewed property this week. Well, earlier today, I spoke with Angus Moore from REA Group about the current property market for this long weekend. Thanks for having me, Artensia. Look, it, it is going to be quiet. You know, we've got a long weekend both in most of the states across the country this weekend with the grand final in, in Victoria and then Labor Day in many other states. That means that we're going to see quieter conditions, particularly in Melbourne with grand final Saturday. There's just not a lot of auctions hitting the market this weekend. Now, we've had a strong spring selling season we're about halfway. Do you believe that it's going to get stronger or is it going to start to slow down? Yeah, it's been pretty firm thus far. You know, we've been seeing pretty good auction conditions and results across the country over the last you know, month, month and a half of spring. And, you know, we're certainly expecting to see a pretty busy weekend next weekend once we come out of this long weekend. So I think signs are pointing towards a pretty busy and a solid spring. If we're looking at conditions more broadly, it, it has been fairly firm. Homes are actually selling a little bit quicker in Sydney and Melbourne at the moment than they were three or four months ago. So, you know, things look like we're, we're shaping up for a pretty solid spring. Now, are we seeing any vendors discounting their homes to achieve their desired prices or just to achieve a sale in general? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. And my colleague Paul actually looked at this this week. On, I'll, I'll give a little plug on our realestate.com.au forward slash insights. What we've actually seen is that it has actually come off over the past sort of 12 months or so. So the share of homes that are being sold below their initial asking price has come down compared to what we were seeing last year. And 
And that's consistent with what we're seeing in home prices, which have been growing this year, whereas last year they were falling. That's a pretty consistent pattern. We tend to see that when home prices are increasing, you know, a few months later, vendor discounting will fall or vice versa, when home prices are falling, a few months later, we'll start to see a bit of an increase in vendor discounting. We're also seeing that across the states. You know, if you look at the places where we're seeing more homes being sold below asking price, places like Hobart, it's because prices have been more sluggish. Places like Adelaide and Perth, very strong markets, not seeing as much of that. Okay, now Angus, let's talk rate rises. On Tuesday, the RBA, they're going to meet again to decide whether to hold rates or lift them. And of course, it'll be Michelle Bullock's first time or first meeting as RBA governor following Dr Lowe's resignation. Do you believe the RBA, they're going to hold rates or do you think they're going to lift them? I think we'll probably see them hold rates again this month. You know, we haven't seen a lot over the past month or so that I think would change the RBA's outlook. And, and certainly markets aren't pricing in much of a chance of, of further interest rate increases this month. The big news that we've had recently was inflation data, the monthly CPI, which doesn't cover everything that the official measure, the quarterly official measure covers, but it's, it's a pretty good coverage and, and gives a good sense. It still says inflation's too high. You know, it was 5.8% over the past year, clearly higher than 2 to 3%. But things look like they're heading in the right direction. So I think, I think the RBA will feel that they're on the right track and don't need to move this month. Further ahead, I think there's a chance we'll see further interest rate increases. You know, there are some signs that inflation might be a bit more persistent. Obviously, we've seen oil prices pick up pretty significantly. That's flowing through to petrol prices. So I think there's some chance we see some you know, later in the year, early next year, but, but probably not this month. Now, I'm hearing that there's not a lot of stock out there on the market, and that's also driving property prices up. If the Reserve Bank decides to lift interest rates again before Christmas, do you think that'll have an impact on vendors putting their homes back on the market? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. You know, certainly we'd expect interest, price, interest rates to have an impact on prices. You know, we know that higher interest rates are a big headwind for home prices. And you know, certainly what we saw last year when the RBA was raising interest rates very, very quickly, every month we saw home prices slide pretty quickly. And then this year, as they've paused, we've started to see home prices recover. So I think that'll be an important driver of what happens to home prices. What that means for vendors is a good question. You know, part of the reason we have seen a bit more activity this spring than we did last year is the fact that interest rates have been on hold and home prices have been increasing, which has been giving vendors a bit more confidence. So it, it certainly could slow things, but I think it depends on you know, how vendors feel the RBA, how much further the RBA has to go which we're in a very different position than we were 12 months ago. You know, even if there's one or two more interest rate increases, we're not going to see anything like what we did last year. And lastly, your opinion, do you believe house prices are going to go up or go down or just stay as they are? It's a great question. Um, our expectation, we'll probably see a little bit more price growth this year. You know, we're expecting not much, but you know, slow growth over the rest of this year. Into next year, you know, it's a, a lot of uncertainty around that one. We are expecting we'll probably see low single digit growth. So, you know, Still positive, but, but not very strong. A lot of it's going to depend on what happens to interest rates, though. You know, that's really predicated on us being close to or at the peak. If inflation turns out to be more entrenched than, than we're currently expecting, interest rates have to go higher, that'll be a real headwind for home prices next year. Angus, thank you for your time. Absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me.